Today, let's learn about the five uses of paste special. No, no, I'm not talking about any special paste here. I'm talking about paste special. Now, what the heck can be so special about paste? You cut, you paste, that's it, right? No, there is something apparently special about paste and that's what we are going to learn today. Let's learn the first use. Let's say I want to copy this table in Excel and paste it onto my slide. Ha, what's the big deal? Let me copy this by pressing Ctrl C and then go back to my slide and press Ctrl V for paste. Ha, what I got is this nonsense. This table looks as bland as the food served for ulcer patients in hospitals. Let us delete this nonsense and then do something more interesting. Let me right click, copy again and then go back to my slide and here I access that special thing here. I go to home, go to paste and there it is hidden called paste special. So let me click on it and I have a whole bunch of options to paste it. Let me choose one of the picture options, maybe as enhanced metafile or as windows metafile. Let me choose EMF or enhanced metafile and say, okay, now this looks tasty. I can expand it. It looks pretty cool, but then still this is a silly picture. Let us make it even more special. Let me delete this nonsense again and go back to the same Excel sheet. This time I've saved it using a very innovative name called my table on desktop. Now let me copy and then go back to my slide. Let me go to the same hidden paste special, click on that option and let us use this secret radio button called paste link and you choose Microsoft Excel worksheet object and you say OK. Now what you see here is a special thing. Now you might say what on earth is this? This looks just the same as the one that we got earlier, right? But this is special because when I go to Excel and I change the name, now look at this, this is Andy Cohen and go to slide, it is Andy Cohen. Now I'm going to change the name of this fellow to something different, like say Johnson Cohen and then hit enter. Now when I go back to my slide, you can see that the name is magically changed automatically. That is because you have not used the bland paste option or the picture option this time you have pasted it as a linked object. Now don't you agree that Pay Special is indeed something special? Good. Hey, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com and before you forget, do yourself a solid favor and join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free email course. The link is in the description box below. Mm, did I say it is free? Yes, it is free. So go ahead and sign up and get these 25 creative ideas that I don't share anywhere else. Let's move forward. Let's say one day you get PowerPoint fever. You wake up in the middle of the night and create a PowerPoint presentation. Now for the title, you use a fancy font. You finish the presentation, copy the file onto a thumb drive, walk confidently into the meeting room, open the laptop provided by the organizers. You put your thumb drive, open your presentation and what you see on your title slide is this. Now, why did that happen? It is because in that laptop, your fancy font was not installed and therefore PowerPoint thought about it intelligently and replaced your fancy font with the dullest and the most boring fonts of all time called Arial. Now, how do you deal with the situation? One way is to shout your lungs out at everybody responsible for this. The meeting organizer, Microsoft engineers, and even Bill Gates. The other option is if you are a presentation process subscriber, then you know what to do, right? All you need to do is to go back to your fancy font. Before you close your presentation, you right click, cut this and then go to our, yeah, the paste special and then go here and copy it back as a picture called picture PNG and you say, okay. Now your title with your favorite fancy font will look just like this even if the computer in your meeting room looks like this. Okay, sorry, I got a little too excited. It'll work in pretty much any modern computer. Now, while we are at this, let me show you another interesting trick. Let me select this, Control X to cut it, then go to Paste Special, and then choose this option called SVG. For reasons known only to God and aliens, SVG is not available in all versions of PowerPoint. If you are one of the privileged ones who has the option to use SVG images, then you can choose SVG and say OK. Now what you got here is your title in SVG format. Now what this does is, you can select this 
and then right click on this and you can convert it to shape and then you can right click again and go to group and say ungroup now what you got is this beautiful option of every word being separate like this of course these are all shapes and you can work with them just as you would work with any powerpoint shape now the next use of paste special let's say you watched one of my previous tutorials and learned how to create this 3d sphere that looks so cute now you want to resize this ball so let us go here press ctrl d to create a duplicate and if you were to try it in the normal way hold the shift button down click and drag from the corner you get this messy result can you see here it looks as if somebody has pinched that ball now what do you do no 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 stop 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 shouting you can do something much less stressful let us delete this now let me right click copy this and then paste it using the paste special you go here go to paste special and stick it back as a png and say okay now you can reduce it to any size you want increase it to any size you want and your 3d ball will look just as cute let's go to the next tip now take a look at this picture here i love this image of choir singers but i don't like all these second row people so i want to cut them out of the scene so what do i do i make a copy so i can demonstrate that to you by pressing ctrl d and keeping it over here i can crop it by going to picture format crop and then crop like so but then you can see that there are traces of these second row people which i need to get rid of so what is a smart way to get rid of these traces it's very simple you go to auto shapes gallery and then from lines you choose this one called as free form scribble and then scribble around so that you can take all those silly ones like this you can see that i am just drawing around these traces and then i am creating a shape as i come to the starting point i release my mouse and you can see that the shape is created go to shape fill fill it with the white color or whatever is the color of the background and then go to shape outline and say no outline now the second row people are eliminated now i can select everything and press control g but that doesn't look very elegant you see i can always right click cut this and then right click and paste it as picture yeah this is a paste special option which is available right now in your mini toolbar you click on this and then paste it over here now this looks as fresh as flowers remember this simple trick it'll come in quite handy in your presentation career hey before you go you know what to do if you have not already signed up to our 25 creative powerpoint ideas which is a free email course then you can click on the link in the description box below the video and sign up or you can click on the link that you see here on the right hand side and sign up and enjoy these 25 creative powerpoint ideas i'll see you in the next video